Morrow dropped his March of the Machine spoilers, and now we're talking about Homelands. Next up on Eternal Dirtles. Be strong. Be strong. Hello and welcome to Eternal Dirtles. I'm your host, Zach Clark, and the fibble dip to my Borborygmos, Phil Blackman. Phil, how's it I'm, going, man? I'm the fibble dip. Fibble dip. Fibble dip. To yeah. your, <laughs> to your Borborygmos, your uh, a Dirtle Magus Borborygmos. Dude, what's up, man? Are we going to talk? We're talking about yeah, man. The, the machine spoilers. The, the king spoilers, is dead. But, Long know, live the, the king. Uh, as far as spoiler seasons go, we, we're done talking about uh, Frexia All Will Be One. We've been done talking about Frexia All Will Be One since the day it, since well, the day it dropped. Uh, now it's time to talk thing. about March of the Machines. We are still waiting to see if All Will Be One. Now, uh, will the Frexians win the war? That's still up in the air. I, my guess is that they don't because the game does need to continue, right? And or we it's just know like all Frexians, everything costs we, two life instead of mana we gotta, symbols. <laughs> the thing <laughs> is, you is that there's no way... They're not just going to kill off, like, all of the Phyrexians, right? Like, it's the greatest villain in the history of their shtick. They're not going to get Yeah, I mean, this is, the, this is the original villain. Like, ever since villains existed in this game that weren't, like, uh, Shakespeare text on alpha cards, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, e even when they got rid of, uh, or they defeated Nicol Bolas, they just put him in the prison realm, right? They could just, they can tap that anytime yeah. they need to. Just bring him out of there, you know? Well, and at, I've at been... a certain point... I've been following the story. Uh, there's a couple great sites. Aether Hub uh, is a site. Uh, is a site is a YouTube page that does like a good recap of all of the uh, March of the Machine stuff, all those, all the lore stuff. So I like to listen to that uh, at the beginning of the day when uh, w when they drop stuff onto there because it's like really nice condensed. Like he does a good job of telling the story, but also like it's short. It's like ten minutes to get like everything down. Yeah. Um, at what at what point? Oh, I'm gone. Oh no. Phil, where'd he go? It happens every time. At, yep. at, uh, at what point do we see Tezzeret as the, the main villain as opposed to the side, as, as you know, the always a bridesmaid? I, I just don't think that Tezzeret is a compelling villain, honestly. Like, Dude, guy with the a mechanical compelling. arm. Guy with a mechanical arm is, like, is such a, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger, like, 1980s action villain, like, villain. Like, that. Yeah, yeah, I'm you're right. Not, it, it, you know? it, it, it didn't work out. It didn't work out for uh arnold schwarzenegger at all nobody yeah, remembers he, him well no i'm just saying like it, it just it's it we're, we're past that in storytelling like we don't need a james bond villain you know like that's that's i feel like that's what Tezzer tezzeret is is like he's going to uh what's the what's the uh dr evil line i'm going to explain a completely complex death that is easily escapable or something like that that feels like tezzeret yeah. to me Dude, if Tezzeret is Magic's Dr. Evil, then I think we need more. Dr. Evil, the character of Dr. Evil holds up exceptionally well. I, I was actually watching a uh, documentary about, like, Dr. Evil versus the guy uh, that they that they panned Dr. Evil after uh, in the Bond films. Uh, and, like, how... Perfect example is right here. I can't remember that guy's name. How Dr. Evil is more famous than that guy... Um, right. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. no one well, knows. Also, uh, no one knows that, like that 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 character is a pastiche of like another character at this point. Like that's the yeah. He's more well known. <laughs> you, you, it's it's way easier to remember a clown, right? Yes. You know, Doctor Who's a clown. <laughs> that's why. That's why you guys are always going to remember us, right? <laughs> um. Yeah. So let's talk about the spoilers, man. Uh. So. Let, let, let's just read it down, straight or, down the line. We'll, we'll say they're, they're, they're not spoilers, they're teasers. Teasers, for, teasers, yes, for, they're teasers. For, for our, our aggro commenters. Yes, duelist-style uh, teasers. Uh, so, teasers. Uh, first there will be numerous cards that care about Phyrexians. Just another, you know, parasitic <laughs> draft mechanic. No, I mean, I, I, I think, like, it's unfortunate if they get rid of all of the Phyrexians, which I don't think that they're going to do, but if they do... You know, this is like when they toss in, you know, some tribal support in literally any set. Like, there were soldiers in Dominaria, yeah. and, you know, there are goblins and elves and merfolk. Like, uh, what was the set where they gave us, like, the... the it was Dominaria, right? Where they gave us a lord for goblins, a lord, like, v yeah. Vidalian yeah. Headscatcher and whatnot. Like, there wasn't really tribes. It wasn't, like, a tribal set, but they gave us lords for each yeah. one and for some reason. Oh, I'm or, not against this as, as, like, a thing, but I just feel like this is going to be, like, a limited mechanic. It's like, draw a card if yeah. you have a Phyrexian in play or something like that, you know, like, 
Yeah. It's a five mana eight 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 that like uh, is a four four unless you have a Phyrexian in play or something. You know something something like that. You know, powerful. Um, uh, a double fa faced token token that transforms. Not token. That's a whole nother. That's a whole nother episode. Uh, a double faced token that transforms. So there'll be a I token wonder, that transforms. That's I I wonder if there will be, if the I wonder if the card will say transform a token named something, or if the token itself will have a transform ability on it. Oh, it'll have. A, I'm sure it'll have an ability on it. I'm, I'm sure like it'll be like put this token into play. Uh, it has this text that like it's. It, they really need to get to a point where they're just like put a one one frog token into play, and then like every frog token is the same. I know they'll never do that because there's too many beat. There's like eighteen beast tokens. But, like, all of the named tokens should be, like, that is what it is. Like, a beast is a 3-3, three, three, uh, a frog is a 1-1, one, one, you know, that kind of stuff. But it, it just, like, that'll never, that they'll never stick to that. Anyhow, that's not that compelling. The next card that we, is we, Yeah, we can't, we can't, we can't go, like, they can't limit themselves. Because what if we go, uh, I believe it's Segovia. Is that the name of the plane where everything is miniature? <laughs> there's like a one it's, there's a one one it's like segovian angel or something it's a one one for one and it's oh, a wow. one one angel i did not yeah. i did not know that was tiny like plane everything's tiny on segovia I that's could like be the wrong. opposite of the the like quintessential like super mario brothers world where like everything is gigantic yeah everything is tiny and <laughs> tell me tell me listeners if i'm wrong on my pronunciation or name of that plane but yeah Sego it sounds focus. like sounds like uh some, something in the eastern block segovia um a card that costs X, blue, 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 blue. And that's all that says. My guess is that it's going to say, draw X cards, take an extra turn. My guess is that uh, quad blues are like mass manipulation style effects where you take control of a bunch of shit. Yeah, I can see that happening too. They they just printed something. I think there's actually a card called mass manipulation that is blue, blue, X, X, take control of X permanence. Uh, yeah, I maybe this one's going to be an, an extension where it's the... Uh, you know, take control of X permanence, and then if X is, you know, something or more, do another thing. Yeah. Uh, a variant mechanic that returns to a premiere set for the first time since it originally appeared. Now, my answer is is not based on any anything that I've seen in the lore videos, so no, there's no spoilers here, but my guess is that it's a merge and the uh, Eldrazi are back. Oh, I think a merge is a good guess just because they're going to all of the different planes. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is like you have literally all of Magic's history to like choose and emerge is one of the few ones that we never saw again. Like, I mean, what's the other option? Like Megamorph Miracle. Miracle. Megamorph We've seen Miracle back, since, baby. We've seen Miracle since since it originally. No, appeared. not in a premiere set. Not in a premiere set. Huh? Okay. Miracle has come back that exactly would be cool. in Warhammer. That's it. Okay. Okay. Mm. Um, no, there was another Commander product with that that had like some really shitty miracles uh, a while back with like uh, that Esper Planeswalker. But um, yes. my guess, my guess is Miracle, baby. Let's go. All right. So then uh, this is a legendary creature that returns that has not been seen since Homelands. And I have brought up all of the legendary creatures from Homelands so that we can talk about what we think is the most likely answer here. All right, so who is your pick? My pick is Grandma Sengir. Uh wow. and, and that's only because Grandma Sengir was like a planeswalker, I want to say, that uh, Baron Sengir just was like, you're fucking cool. You're my grandma now. The lore of of Homelands is insane, but let me let me read off all of the all of the possible legends, and then uh, Phil, you can choose. Um, Autumn okay. Willow, Baron Sengir, which is off the off the thing because we've seen that since then. Uh, Chandler, uh, daughter of Autumn, Eron the Relentless, Grandmother Sengir, Hasdor the Abbot, uh, Ishin Shade, Irini Sengir. Joven, Rashka the Slayer, Ravika, Wizard Savant, Soraya the Falconer, and Veldrain of Sengir. I'm going to turn my light back on real fast. You discuss which one that you think is good. 
I, my, my, my pick for this, I, I think the one that is most likely is Aaron the Relentless. Uh, he strikes me as the, the, I don't know if he's dead. I don't know the lore behind him, but my, my guess, if you're going to bring back a pirate is, uh, in a time where we can go to a plane where there's pirates. Um, so you're saying Iran? I think, I think what, what might make sense though is, yeah, I'm, I'm going to guess Aaron the Relentless, but I think that, uh, either Veldrain or Arini could also be the pick as like the continuation of the Sengir bloodline. And then... Uh, somewhere along the line, because the thing is, is that like, well, once we get rid of fun fact, what? Phil, Arini is not technically a Sengir as far as Bloodline is concerned. What is she? Do you, so Arini was a the da, the princess daughter of a Dwarven king that made uh, Baron Sengir upset, and so he stole his daughter and uh, turned her into a vampire. Wow, pretty powerful. Here's, big lore, here, big lore here's, here. Big lore facts here. I'm super excited about Homelands. Here's my other conspiracy theory. All right, I'm going to put on my tinfoil hat for a second. The Phyrexians are going to be... Are, if the Phyrexians are going to be defeated, we need a new villain, right? What? Is, and they're, now they're teasing a legend from Homelands coming back, right? So it could be any of these legends. I have I have now a theory, looking, actually, now that you've said now, this. Now, yeah. we're looking at a guy, now we're looking at a guy named Veldrain of Sangir, right? Mm -hmm. Veldrain of Sangir, he's a, a seven-mana 5-5 five, five legend with one black black forest walk and minus three minus oh until end of turn. So he can attack through your opponent's forest for two damage Okay. as a seven drop, okay? Yeah, yeah. Now, I mean, he's a pretty powerful seven drop. He's, he's, a, he's a very powerful <laughs> seven drop, particularly for Homeland. So here's my theory. His name is Veldrain. And we know that the palate cleanser is Eldrain. Yes. And there's no yes. way that Veldrain and Eldrain we know what's we know what's coming. Yeah. Veldrain of Sengir is going to be the next supervillain of the multiverse. Yeah. My guess actually is uh now that I'm now I'm thinking about it, it'd be very cool and poetic to have the entire realm mu multiverse, the entire multiverse saved by uh Ishin Shade, who was the uh paladin that got uh transformed into a shade by Baron Sengir because he was like, uh, he got corrupted by him when he went to fight him. So wait, has he been non-corrupted though? No, well, we don't know. I mean, maybe he, so he got corrupted and he still like, he still has all of his like faculties about him. He he just like could no longer kill Baron Sengir. Um, But the thing is, is that he basically was turned into like an evil spirit that couldn't that that just wasn't able to take his vengeance out i think but the thing that would be cool is if he was redeemed somehow in in this by like dealing the final blow to elishnorn or something like that it to to save sarah because he was a sarah paladin oh so maybe maybe because he's a shade he's going he's immune to phyrexian oil P perhaps that's that's another possibility um i i think it would be really funny if it was just like Hasdur the Abbot, who's just like a weird old man. They're just like, yeah, hey. he's just a weird old corrupted Phyrexian now. I mean, just, yeah. uh, like, oh, I, I could so see, cool. you know, Rashka the Slayer, you know, you're slaying Phyrexians. I don't know the, the stuff behind it, but that's possible. I mean, you could, Joven, you could do Joven or dude. Chandler to just destroy or artifacts. Chandler, or you could put them together and, uh, you know, make uh, Phil Nguyen just a, an absolute, uh, you know, prophetic. Uh, yeah, the Joven Chandler uh, t like team up. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll we should destroy artifacts. Can we get that card on? Can we get that card on screen? Yeah. Bang, yeah. Joven and Chandler. Let's go. So yeah. uh, very powerful, very powerful effect. I, yeah, I don't. My guess, my my guess is Veldrain of Sengir because we're going to Eldrain and Veldrain is uh, sure. You know, he's got an eye patch. He's clearly a villain. I think I think Autumn Willow is another possibility. Is like uh, you know like this is a character that's sort of like the embodiment of that plane. So that might be a thing. Um, maybe maybe they call her Winter Willow now. Uh, Whoa, Winter Willow. Yeah. Right. Wow. Anyhow, uh, moving on. Yeah, moving, moving on. on. We, we spent we spent it's a lot Veldrain. of time we waxing intellectual Veldrain. about about this uh, creature Obviously capable Veldrain. of dealing eleven poison counters. Is it just an eleven eleven with poison? <laughs> yeah, I mean we already have that with Blight Steel Colossus, so my guess right? is uh, they that's a twelve twelve they... actually. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, wow! I guess I've been had. I guess, I guess uh, I can see this round. On to the next one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Uh, all right.
Some planes show up in names that have never done so before. Obviously, Ogrotha, where uh, the Homelands plane. Yeah, we if we're going to Homelands, I mean, I I'm 100 percent in. If like Homelands is the deciding factor in March the Machines, <laughs> yo, I, I my my favorite arc. What a redemption arc said. for Homelands! I mean, come on, <laughs> dude. They they need to save it, right? They just couldn't let it go, but they've just been building for decades to be like, we have to redeem this plane. So my favorite art from any any set of all time is all of the Mercadian masks art. I love that style of art, so I hope that we get to go to Mercadia and do some stuff. Okay. Um, then we've got, uh, uh, so Ren, Ren returns with a new partner. So I think that's like going to be, uh, so that'd be like Ren and eight, right? But, uh, I think it's going to be Ren and World Tree. Yeah. I thought that that was already, I, I, I don't know why I already thought that that was a known quantity that Ren combines with the World Tree or whatever it is that the, whatever tree is connecting all of the planes together. I thought that was just like. Uh, They're hinting a, a at it in the story, the story. B big time, I think, that like, so I, I never knew all this. So Ren, and, Ren is is a dryad, and she has this like fire inside of her that will burn her alive unless she like pairs with a tree. And so that's mm -hmm. why you keep getting new iterations like Ren and Six, Ren and Seven, because she just burns the tree up eventually. Oh, I see. So, I mean, I think it would be interesting to get, so we haven't had a five mana planeswalker since... What we has there ever been a there's never been a five color planeswalker in a premiere set right only in like there's Jared no that's yeah a not commanded product I don't think in a premiere set and there's no. there's Urza Headmaster but that's in an unset yeah so I mean it, it, it might be interesting if uh, this is it, it could be the first ever five color planeswalker if it's combining you know if it's connecting all these different worlds that has access to every single color of mana yeah. Um, all right, two draft archetypes that have creature matters component. I want to like put the the like hated it uh, <laughs> thing from uh, <laughs> from in living color. Hated it. <laughs> Limited formats. Who cares? Two draft archetypes that have a creature type matters component. One of which is Phyrexian. The other so is that... going to be Eldrazi. That means I say it's, it's Eldrazi. The other the other's Kithkin, my guy. Kithkin. Okay. Um, the Tenth blank and blank sword. So it's going to be Demir. Um, I have two uh, two possible names. Um, the first one uh, is the sword of death and dreams. Good. That's good. Uh, and I'm then with you. the second one is the card of discard and draw. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm I'm going to go with uh, the uh, sword of uh, the the sword of uh, of force and fill. Force and fill. Uh, all right. Next, here are some rules text that will be showing up on cards. All right. Now you, we're now we're getting to the good stuff. Yeah. You may cast spells with flash or flying from the top of your library. Dude, I seriously need them to give me <laughs> a future a sight. No. Every single time they give me a future sight, it's always on a, either a card that's unplayable or only cares about creatures. It's like, I get that, you, you know, we're, we're tacking some, you know, cards with flash on here, but can we... Every, th every single thing is always creature centric and everything yeah. that is spell centric is flashback or bust. It's like, give me something, man. Yeah. I don't want to play, I don't, I don't want to play with your monarchs. I don't want to play with your forking initiatives. I don't want to play in the red zone. Let me just, in, let me just cast You just want a dirtle stack. Let me just- I don't know why the they call me dirtle, Magus. You know, not every <laughs> wizard needs to conjure creatures. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, then uh, the next one is, an aura god or demigod card. So demigods are now a thing. Well, demigods have existed on Theros. Like there were demigods, right? Or did they not give that an archetype? Or, uh, I think they were uh, still archetype. humans. Because there was like the, I, I want to say the like uh, Hercules thing. It would be the only thing I can yeah. think of. And maybe that was a demigod. Uh, uh, I thought, I, I, for some reason, I thought here. demigods were already a thing. But <laughs> if, if they're not, then, you know, they'll, they'll do some errata. Because they've introduced demigods to the... On Theros, at least. In yeah. story, they have, I know. Uh, so we got Aura God or Demigod card. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be a tutor uh, because they love doing these tutors, like unplayable tutors for stuff until they... So, like, they they print unplayable tutors, right, for stuff like this. And then it's not until there's one thing that's actually playable and busted, and then you get to play eight copies of it because you have a tutor. And yeah. then it just sh like, goes to show that tutors are mistakes. Stop putting tutors into this game. Love it. Um, Where... 
then there's where X is the damage, the excess damage dealt this way. Yeah, we've run into excess damage before. That's something yeah, they dabbled that's, in. It's and spell trample, do. right? Yeah, it's spell trample. And they said that they would be leaning harder into that space when they first introduced yeah. it back in like Kaldheim or something. This spell can't be copied. Uh, Yo, the new, the new. Can't be countered. The, this is a time walk. This is the time walk effect in the set. That's okay. going to exile itself and say it can't be countered. So you can't do any galvanic uh, iteration, uh, I see. you know, whatever stuff in Pioneer. Like, they recognize that time walks are just broken. But, like, I, I personally don't mind time walks because I think players can choose to concede at any point. But for some reason, uh, player the least thing, the things that players like the least are having their spells countered, not killed, countered, and time walk effects because they're like, I don't want to just watch my opponent masturbate. And I'm like, you can concede. You can always concede. Um, yeah, I, I, my other guess was this is going to be like an EDH only card and it just like makes one opponent lose. <laughs> oh yeah, that's possible. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> you know, target like, opponent loses the target game. Target opponent loses the it. game. Yeah. This can't be copied. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, maybe that's it. Maybe like a world, a, a plane gets destroyed and that's the target player loses the game card. Yeah. Uh, so then we have activate only if you've cast two or more spells this turn. Sure. Yeah, and they said storm is on the storm scale. Yeah. Um, each player can't cast more than one non-Phyrexian spell each turn. I don't know what this card will be, but I know what it will be called. Completed Canonist. Yeah, we're a, we're definitely an Esper. Yeah. X twice, where X is the number of lands you control. Draw X. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we're yeah, just uh, we're gonna do some some target creature gets plus X plus X, where X uh, is the number of lands you control twice. I don't know. Yeah, X twice. Not, I, I, the, the wording is weird there, right? Like X twice, where X is the number of lands you control. Well, I think it, I think there's an ellipsis before it, right? I mean, it's not he didn't write it, but it's like no, I'm just saying something... like because normally it would just be like where X is double the number of lands you control. Right, right. So it's two instances of that, right? Yeah. That's weird. It's it's weird. It's weirdly worded. Uh, we'll we'll come back to that when it uh, gets printed. I want to know how how correct I am and how weird that is. Um, yeah. Whenever a permanent you control transforms or another permanent enters the battlefield under your control, transformed. Okay, okay. here's my theory off of this one, right? So it's going to be good against Delver. <laughs> well, transforms is is clearly going to be a, a thing that they're doing in this set and doing a bunch of because they also have a token that transforms. Yeah. So my guess is that you're going to see. I mean, I think they've already spoiled some artwork of other Phyrexianized characters. I think you're going to see the characters before the Phyrexianized and after the Phyrexianized. So when they transform, they transform into their Phyrexian selves. And so yeah. transforming as as Phyrexians like are winning certain parts of the battle, like their mechanic is going to be transformed because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to transform the multiverse into Phyrexia. So it'll just be like this weird like werewolf effect where like your creatures come in as werewolves immediately so i i think like if your creatures will come in yeah yeah they might have like uh you know cards cards that can transform enter the battlefield transformed or something yeah. like that yeah so um, that, and, that and may be so th those types of effects like yeah the, the the rather than infect or toxic uh with glistening oil since they just did that in phyrexia the way that we're going to see them like achieve Brexianizing things is by transforming them. Yeah. And so transform is the mechanic instead of poison counters. All right. Well, then we have, if opponent protects it, remove a defense counter from it. So that's that's the mechanic, right? Protection defense. and defense is... is yeah. well, well, the thing is, if an opponent protects it, protects is a keyword in this instance, right? Like yeah. anytime you would see the verb of what something is doing, that's the and mechanic. And it makes no sense so, otherwise. Yeah, that's obviously a so, mechanic. So, so, so my guess is that uh, protect and defend is uh, similar to like shield counters, right? Yeah. So if like if an opponent protects it with uh, the mechanic, then you're like protecting puts defense counters on shit. And so if they protect it and you, you know, it's just another way that you can get more proliferate into the standard yeah. environment. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you haven't been dealt combat damage since your last turn, you draw a card and lose a life. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, there is just nobody, nobody at WotC. There is no one <laughs> on the R&D team supporting 
the players who just don't want to play with creatures. No. They're introducing battles. There's this shit where it's like, you know, combat damage is the, the key factor. There's not, there, give, give me the stuff, man, that like, you know, it's like I get there's the, what you call it, the, if you've cast two or more spells this turn, but it's not an activated ability. I'm not trying to play with permanence. <laughs> I want to play lands and I want to be on the stack. What if that activated ability is on a Sensei's Divining Top? <laughs> Bro, if they give me, if they give me Magus of the Sensei's Top, then I'll come back. I'll come back and edit this episode. I'll dub it. I'll dub it just dunking on myself. But until then, we need we need to get we need to Still move here. away from. I'm an idiot. idiot. No combat. <laughs> um. All right. Uh, this is my favorite part. Uh, finally, here are some Phyrexians in the set. We have Phyrexian Bear Rhino. Dude, so uh, the only Rhino that I want to see is uh, Mr. Orfeo from. <laughs> As, as, but he's also like meshed into uh the 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 bear like teacher wizard from uh Strict yeah Haven. yeah it's a, it, i want to see mr orfeo and, and i want to see Brickwall balzano from yeah. <laughs> who, who is not a legendary character yet but he was named Just in flavor text yeah. <laughs> from streets of new capenna those are the only two rhinos or rhinoceri that anybody is interested in seeing yeah phyrexian devil Okay, cool. Uh, Phyrexian Dog Warrior. Yo, they're turning dogs into Phyrexians. That's just called. Yeah, dude, that's messed up. But then your dog like never it never dies of old age. So that's also cool. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. They're just evil though. Phyrexian Jackal. Yeah, we need more jackals. Give me yeah, the dude. jackals. I want ja some jackals. But like, give me jackals that aren't you know always attacking. Give me some. Give me some Oracle jackals. What was the last give jackal some... that you remember? I think there was like a. Her Hercule Dr Jackal from the original set, or maybe that was like Arabian no, there, Nights there, there were jackals. fourth edition. There were jackals in Amonkhet, bro. There was the uh Oh yeah. Okay. The, the, the jackal well, there you go. TVs. There's the there there's your jackal there's your jackal uh in, in mono red there was a jackal that ETB'd with haste and said a creature can't block. It was one of the best cards in that environment. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I actually did play that card. Um uh Phyrexian Samurai, of course. Yo, it's over. It is over for the non Phyrexians. You got Samurai on your side? Like yeah, it's dude. over. Phyrexian Shade. Oh, Phyrexian Shark. Uh... Phyrexian Shark. Phyrexian Shark, Phyrexian Shade. The Phyrexian Shade could be your Ishan pick, man. Maybe it's the same thing. Maybe it, maybe oh, that's there it. There you maybe, go. Maybe the Homelands character comes back as Phyrexian. That would dude, be can't uh... catch a break. Ishan can't catch a break. <laughs> he can't. He Started can't. Paladin, he's always and always he's falls for it, dude. He always Just falls keeps... for it. Keeps fucking stumbling into it. He's now. like, I'm going. I'm going to fight the Phyrexians. Becomes a Phyrexian. Over. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> Immediately. Because uh, that was a story arc. He's like, I'm going to fight the undead. Becomes undead. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, he just can't get away. He can't get no. away. His hubris, his hubris just undoes him every time. Um, Phyrexian tree folk, of course. Um, we need more tree folk. I think yeah, I, yeah. that's that's a creature type I can get behind. More tree folk, please. Uh, Phyrexian Viachino. Yeah, reptiles, bro. We're back on Amonkhet. Phyrexian weird. I don't understand. Why is it that weirds are allowed as a creature type in regular magic, but clowns are stuck to infinity and like unsets? Aren't they, aren't they just the same thing? I, I don't understand why weird gets the pass as not being like too cartoonish, but clowns don't. Yeah. Uh, all right. Then we have uh, creature types of the denizens fighting the Phyrexians. We got a Moonfolk Ninja. Yep, we're back in we're back in uh, Kamigawa. Aetherborn vampire. So that's our hint that we're going to Kaladesh again. Yep. Uh, fungus rabbit. So what are the rabbits that would team up with another fungus? Well, I ha that this has to be from the plane of Eldrain, right? Like. Oh right. Well, this isn't a legendary is, creature, so it's not a combo. Yeah, this is not a legendary creature. Fung fungus rabbit is just like. Uh, a rabbit it might it could be just two creatures together that are one's a fungus one's a rabbit but i see this as like the white rabbit with like fungus yeah or like fungus you know, the rabbit alice in wonderland yeah. kind of thing dwarf pilot we've already had those uh raccoon warrior so uh we, we have had raccoons in uh in streets so that's streets of new Capetta probably okay uh goblin spell shaper that's that's there's Ravnica? your Mercadian masks uh, call out right there. Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Wolverine dinosaur. That's um, Ixalan. Sure. Yeah, Ixalan. Uh, all right. 
So then we have legendary creatures. I have guesses for all of these. Um, then we have uh, Elder Giant Dog. So there are two Elder Yo. Giants. There's Kroxa and that Uro. And uh, I'm going to guess Yoshimaru. So it's going to be either like Yoshimaru and Oru or uh, Yoshimaru and Kroxa. Yoshimuro? Muro, yeah. Muru. Yeah, well, yeah, well it's Yoshimaru, but it, yeah. it's Yoshimuro if it's combined with Uro. Elder Giant oh. Dog, I think it's... I, I, my guess is that it's, just, it's Clifford. I'm going to guess it's Clifford. Clifford. It's actually just Clifford. They got us. They're like, it's big, Clifford. This is a universe that's beyond crossover set. Big mono red dog. <laughs> Clifford. Uh, then we have Ape Dinosaur Turtle. Uh, Yadaro and Togla. Togla. So like the the like. This is uh, King Kong. A, a, a it's King Kong and gonna... and whatever that thing is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Kogla Your is the card that you're thinking of, and you're right. You nailed that. I, I yeah. would agree with that. I think the Ape Dinosaur Turtle is definitely Kogla and Yadaro teaming up to you know wreak some havoc. And then we have Cyclops Homunculus. That's got to be Borborigmos and, Fib and Fibbledip. Yeah, that's there's there's nothing else. They're they're they have uh. I, I think it's like Zivolt and Yeetle Slick or something like that. That's a, a, it was the coin flipping commander. Oh yeah, yeah. Like but they're not like main main story. They're not main. They're, they're not main story on a particular yeah. plane. Although I, I guess technically that, that. that that is a Cyclops and a Homunculus, isn't it? It could just be them. Coming just those into two. Yeah, I guess it could be those it, two. I would much rather see. Bor I bet people are thinking it's those two, and it's definitely going to be Borborigmos and Fibbletip. The thing is, is like I don't know. It's like, are they going to like the the weird like sports I mean, plane? I guess it don't it go to the does sports make, plane. You got to go to the sports plane, bro. I guess it I does make that. sense that Fibble Fip and Borborigmos, I guess, would make sense in that they both are. Yeah, they're both on. Yeah, they're both yeah. on. Uh, uh, what's it called Ravnica, and they got to go to Ravnica to save people. I I'm putting I'm putting all of my money, all these credits, all of them. On Borborigmos and Fibblethip. Comment below if you think I'm wrong. Comment below I if you think know, I'm right. I want to know which one of the Phyrexians. So we know that it's not is it, it's not going to be Gingitactus. Which one of the Phyrexians, if any, or Underlands, or are going to somehow find the Spirit Realm? Which which one of the oh, Phyrexians are their okay. Underlings? What which which named character? Is somehow going to find the prison realm where Nicol Bolas is being held. Okay, I don't know, man. I I don't think no, I don't man. think that like I don't think that they're even gonna mess with Nicol Bolas. I think Nicol Bolas bro. Will, will be completely ignored. Bro, if all will be one, that includes the God Pharaoh. Okay. Perhaps. Now it's to, just to it's just episode, it's just Gideon and Nicol Bolas as like a planeswalker. <laughs> yeah, bro. Giddy Bowls. To, yeah, to, to wrap up to wrap up the episode it's definitely bell drain of sengir for <laughs> sure for sure I'm I'm going below, to drain, what you think bell drain what you think the homelands character is going to be what what legends do you want to see combined uh the best the, okay first off the best the best legend combination is going to get uh tw this uh 20 let's go with 1995. Is gonna get whatever yeah. 1995 is, and I'm giving out all the rest of these to anybody else who comments. Uh, I just I, like we're almost done with these. Can people comment and then like actually accept them? Okay, <laughs> I don't so understand here's, why here's I have to thing. beg to give these away. Here, here's 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 the here's the pick. Okay, yeah. we're gonna reserve one, and I guess okay. you said it's 1995. We're sure. gonna reserve one of them. Whoever is the first to comment. With the correct legend from Homelands. Okay. I will. Uh, you know what? You know what? It's got to be you. you many, many people might say the same thing. Whoever's first on a given legend gets the pack. Okay. The legend from Homelands. First, first to comment. And the you, correct no, legend. nobody, nobody, nobody gets Veldrain. I got Veldrain. All right. Veldrain is claimed because we're going to Eldrain. <laughs> Veldrain of Eldrain is the this dumbest. This is too easy. It's the Zach. most. Mark Rosewater possible take. It is <laughs> too easy. All right. To see well, um, Bell Drain. Everybody, uh, thanks for listening. Don't forget to check out our t shirts over on the link below. We got the What to Do t shirt, the classic uh, Eternal Durals t shirt, 
the uh, side of it emboss t-shirts. Uh, we're gonna. I think Veldrain of Eldrain has gotta has gotta become a t-shirt now. <laughs> Veldrain of Eldrain, bro. Veldrain of Eldrain. Vel Veldrain of Eldrain. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, got, I, got, anyhow, I gotta build a commander deck with that guy. Oh my god, it'd be so good. Uh, anyhow, that's it for us this week. Uh, you've already seen, last week we posted, uh, Phil's, Phil's video. Let's talk about the bands. Uh, coming up, uh, this Wednesday is gonna be our All the One Rings, uh, music video. Uh, I did a lot of work on this one, so please check it out. Uh, also, yeah, please our new check series, out the Yo other MTG one. Raps. MT Yo, Yo MTG, MTG Raps. All right. That's a nice little throwback. Thanks, Pascal. everybody. Have a good week. Thanks for watching. Hey, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out this other video. And if you can, please support us on Patreon.com.